Hi, I'm Matthew. Today I'm going to show you how to flood a switch with a uh, lot of random ARB packets. Um, so first of all, I have scanned um, my network to look for my switch because I never remember what IP address it's on. It changes every time I start it. Um, so here I go. Here's the IP address and the actual switch is now configured without uh, port security and the table size is unrestricted so this is like a normal uh, unconfigured switch and it also has my mm, my address just the one it learned so yep um, and now I'm going to start an attack uh, the ARP flood attack and as you can see this is my IP you can change it to a different one it doesn't really matter but it's there if someone needs it for other purposes and this is the victim the actual switch before I actually do that I can as well start the sniffer Wireshark and now let's have a go as you can see there are lots of packets that are being sent totally random uh, I'm going to stop it uh, because I think that's enough okay I've stopped the attack uh, there are some still packets in the background that have been processed but that's absolutely fine and now I'm going to show you what happened to the actual uh, switch as you can see it got lots of entries lots of it's been flooded basically so yeah I'm gonna press X and show you how many there are 974 addresses been gathered in such a short period of time um, but now I'm going to remove them all uh, and I'm going to what I'm going to do I'll list Oh, there are none at the minute. No, I'm just going to pin down the thing. Uh, I think you don't need to see that. It's just to uh, make yes for the switch to add the new address. And now I'm also going to uh, enable uh, the actual addressing security. Uh, what will make it more secure and you don't see it now you'll see it uh, in address table size when the switch with the port on the switch is in security mode is just one and now I'm, I'm gonna perform the same attack uh, so as you can see the same thing I'm going to restart this and do the same attack just for few seconds doesn't need more okay stopped should process the packets in the background da, 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 da. okay I think it finished now I can check again with my switch and it just has one up entry because it doesn't allow to learn any other entries because it's in port security enabled on the port so yeah that's all I wanted to show you for today and if you're thinking why uh, would anyone use a flood on the switch well some of the vendors and the manufacturers and the models of the switches when you flood them uh, and they are overfilled with MAC entries uh, they start to behave like a hub so you don't need to perform any man in the middle attack or anything anything so all the traffic being sent to all the ports so you can sniff easily so yeah that's it bye